Hello everyone, this is Jansnix and we are playing Couches 2. And the last time uh, we got over those free missions which I like to call Byzantium Arc because it kind of serves as a story arc as a whole. However, now it's a turn on a free play mission and ooh, it will be I the Isle of the Dead, one of my favorites. Actually, the Vikings land on a strange isle. Something is not quite right here. Yeah, so much snow. Uh, okay, the, the Isle of the Dead. The Vikings land on a foreign shore in the high north to spend the winter here, there. Okay, that totally makes sense. Uh, they are surprised by the early and sudden start of winter and cannot continue their journey. But they have uh, they have hardly set foot on the shore before they sense something very strange. Something is not quite right here. There are strange ruins to the southwest of the landing place. Explore the surroundings of the landing place. Yeah, explore the ice. Yeah, and this mission will be a bit weird actually. It was, I mean, you see the wannabe scary music. I pretty like this music actually. I mean, Fabian Priore actually also did a pretty good job here, I would say. Uh, basically, by the way, uh, this music is not the, uh, not the one where there would be like a normal theme, wealthy theme, and the danger theme, but. There, uh, there is only, uh, there is only this one, which mostly plays in those fantasy-like missions. We are with cat catapult, catapult. Our, uh, yeah, as I understood, some of my people will get randomly kind of cursed. And they will become basically useless. I mean, even more than than normally. So yeah. Uh, far from the camp, the scouts find a weathered cycle of stone, the ancient grave of a mighty sovereign of elden days. The Vikings are shocked to discover that, quite by accident, they have landed on the legendary Isle of the Dead, an island no living human may set foot on. The curse of this ice will strike you all unless you pay homage to the seven kings who are buried on this isle and thus appease the spirits. Search for the remaining six, six graves, circles of stone that were erected in their memory. Watch out for a guard of the graves and the curse of the island. So yeah, as I said, some of my people might get uh, might get cursed. Uh, basically, what will what it did gonna mean is that they will be they will be useless for any uh, for any job. And for that, just in case that uh, all of my uh, women get cursed, I should probably actually make uh, may, uh, make more of them. Or else it will actually prevent me from uh, from getting any from getting any uh, any more people. Yeah, and I think I will need soldiers. Well, not really. I will explain. This mission can be actually quite easily rushed and done uh, done in five minutes. But yeah, I want to make this a little interesting and actually making an army to defeat and to defeat the enemies. Uh, basically, the goal is to visit how many of those places there are. Uh, uh, wait, is it then? Yeah, six graves. So I need to visit those six graves, and that's pretty much everything I need. Uh, I need to do. They are guarded. They are guarded by enemies. You will see. You will see who the enemy is gonna be. Uh, but I would. I could just uh, take Bjarni and speed run, uh, speed run around the whole island, and that will be it. The enemies are actually pretty slow in this mission. So yeah, here we got it. No, no one got cursed so far. 
cool. We've got a civilian now. Yeah, now I definitely... I'm definitely gonna need another dwelling. Yeah. So, I believe somewhere around here would be the first place. By the way, it's so cool to see all the snow here because here, wow, wow, those are them. Those are them. Wait, Sna snake people, freaking snake people. Okay, understandably, those guys will be tough. Oh, 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 oh. okay. So one guy got almost killed. Actually, I would prefer just to to have a bigger bigger army, but those like those, those are monsters. Like I was saying, this game aims to be quite realistic, but they are in the catches too. There are only few missions when there are some fantasy things and those snake people, and this is one of them. This is one of them, my friends. And those snake people are definitely uh, quite a lot, lot stronger than a regular soldier. However, they are pretty slow, and I believe, I believe having an army of longbow archers would work pretty well on them. Okay, what are we waiting for here? Yeah, would, would need it, of course. So actually, let's explore around more stuff. <laughs> I, I wonder how am I supposed to use catapult over them? I mean, I, I like catapult rather for uh, dealing with enemy buildings. They, those snake people, <laughs> don't have any building. Uh, but yeah, I think my best strategy is like so far when I'm waiting for uh, stuff to get built. I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, just to uh, just the way thing the stuff get uh, gets built and yeah and out in until then I can uh, lure out only f all, always like one or two snake people and killing them slowly like this yeah I, I believe this mission can be done even like that oh okay oh oh this is not good. Okay. Okay, now I need to run. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Okay, this is gonna be a bit tricky to handle. Are they somewhat regrouping? Anyway, yeah, I know there is a spot actually somewhere over here, so not that far from my village. Okay. Yeah, see here is one of those places. Those guys were guarding it. But yeah, we are almost die. But I believe it is still possible to uh, to complete uh, the free missions even if our hero died. But I wouldn't take any risk. After all, we are is pretty valuable. Very well. But I don't remember them being so fast, actually. Anyway... Yeah, probably. So, so one spot is apparently here, and another one could be somewhere around here, actually. So maybe, just maybe, I could build a defense tower over here and 
actually lure the snake people here and then activate defense mode with tower and it might help. Yeah, but actually those defense towers mm, might be quite overrated if you ask me. What I mean that it can potentially go down pretty easily when there is gonna be more of those snake people. And I don't want to risk losing even my headquarter. That will that will be quite well troublesome. Anyway, yeah, what I also need would be a mason shop. Stuff is getting built pretty slowly with just with just one uh, with just one builder. Is that a problem? Well, at least two builders should be fine. But so far, no one got curse. Interesting. I mean, I will be pretty glad if those curses actually wouldn't work. Okay, what are those ruins? So yeah, actually, another spot will be somewhere around here. Okay, and I am losing fishes. Wow, he already mined all the stones here. We can mine here also. Cool, so are any snake people gonna come? The curse has struck on one of your people. The same will happen to all who dare to disturb the peace of this ice. You call this a peace? So yeah, this is this is the one of them. This is the one of them. Yeah, now this guy is cursed and and he's he's not gonna do anything. Oh, I can't even change his profession. Wait, am I being attacked? Uh, what is happening? Oh yeah, here is we're, here is one of those. Anyway, what am I gonna do with this guy? So you know what? Those cursed people, I can actually probably well send them to death, probably. <laughs> like I, I don't know. I'm sort of I don't know what else could I be doing with them. But what will be more of a trouble would be if actually, uh, if actually uh, one of the uh, one of the women get cursed. I'm not sure if that's actually possible. Wait, he's pretty slow, also. Well, sorry, but if you're cursed, we'll just send you to die. And at least be useful by exploring area. Okay, okay, oh no, oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Abort, abort, abort. <laughs> yeah, they are coming up remotely, okay, and he's dead. See, this is what happened to cursed people, so please don't get cursed. Please, please. Hello. 
However, yeah, I think I will further try to kill some annoying snakes in this spot. Because it seems at this spot there's actually far more of them. And yeah, I will better say my game. Wow, okay, okay. Okay, there's also more of them than I would wish. Okay. Another one buys the dust. Well, yeah. Let's return for now. And what about what about now? What about now? Yeah, we should be able to build a bakery already. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Well, well, well. Yeah, there are some children growing up already. Cool, you've got a civilian. Let's make him a carrier here, so the thing's gonna get, gonna go faster. By the way, if I'm correct, I think they should. Hmm. Shouldn't the snake people drop leather armor? I think they used to do that, but maybe, maybe not in this mission. Yeah, this one, civilian. Grown up. This one too. Great. And, and let's build a pottery. Cool. Do I have any more civilian right now? No, it seems not. Anyway, I don't know if I want to take any risk with defense towers and stuff like uh, when more their free snakes people are gonna get to it, uh, they will actually take it down pretty quickly. So I would not do that at this moment. Rather, I would, I would really, indeed, uh, just uh, spared my people to uh, for making a, an actual army. Why is this taking so long? I'm also gonna need carpenter. Wait, I, I can build carpenter. So far, was a problem. Where is my wood extractor? Oh, you run out of trees, so never mind, you can take this down. Where are my soldiers, by the way? Wait, one, two, three, four. And where are the remaining two? Well, anyway. <laughs> By the way, are all of those animals cursed as well? And cool, also we've got some civilians. You know what? I can also give birth to girls, some women.
And yeah. Cool. And let's upgrade those dwellings. So I will gonna have six women and my people production is gonna get faster. Cool, snake people tremble before my power because I am building barracks and carpenters shop, meaning that I will soon uh, build uh, armory as well. And I have in total how many now? I got <laughs> six builders. So my village is gonna grow pretty quickly. Why the hell are did they just stand there? I hope there are not any snake people in at this spot. Anyway, yeah. D d those kids growing up here uh, n n will are gonna need to be pretty tough. Like I grew on a cursed island. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one, this one grew up too. And this one too. So we will be able to we will be soon able to make some sexy soldiers. And what are we waiting for here? For wheat. There's no problem, we smoke wheat every day. We also smoke stones every day. Oh, so, so we get stoned. And... What's happening? Why are you not taking birth? I forgot to tell them to do so? Barracks Obama is also ready. <laughs> and Carpenter as well. Okay, another one got cursed. Okay, the fisherman. So I'm sorry fisherman, but I'm gonna send you towards a certain death. I mean, I can make him soldier, right? Well, I I can, uh, but um, but it's not gonna work. Okay, anyway. Yeah, luckily the curses do not strike as quickly as I feared. Anyway, what I also knew this need is a bravery because I need the sweet sweet meat. And I'm gonna eat well and beehive. No civilians so far. Yeah. Your life is not gonna come in vain. You explored like uh, five m meters of space here. Okay. I never noticed that, but well, actually at the starting spot I am pretty much cornered here because here are snakes and here are snakes. So I am pretty much trapped in this area of the island, but looking at it it's actually not that big map. Okay nice, I can see some of my civilians grow up. I mean, grew up, you grammar Nazis. 
So yeah, we don't have any weapons for now anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna also need to upgrade this and that. And do I have any more civilians now? Yeah, I got two more. Great. Oh yeah, I definitely need to have a baker here because because otherwise my people will die by hunger, probably. Yeah, because I also send that Fisher to death. And what else? What else can I do now? I think for now I can just wait. What are we waiting for? Here is, I think. Okay, good. But by there is a carry, why is not not carrying stuff? Such a lazy butt. Cool, we will soon be able to make armor's job, but firstly those lazy builders who are gonna need to upgrade this uh this pottery. Yeah. Uh, so we will be able to make tiles. Yeah, they are firstly choosing to upgrade. It's not that much needed mason shop level one. Ooh. I don't think there is anything in particular why we would need marble. I think we are just going to need it later for a level 2 armor shop because I want to have those uh, those sweet longbows. Not those uh, meh, those meh short ones. Uh, cool. And yeah, we can start building armor shop, ladies and gentlemen. So let's slowly but surely prepare my sexy army. To defeat those abusing snake people. Cool, we need one more piece of tile. So come on. Hey, where is it? Oh yeah, he has a wife. Uh -huh. uh, since my bread production is not that stable, so maybe I'm gonna employ carrier here and here. Hmm, there's some clay and quarry stone inside. Okay, why not? Ooh. Armor shop got built. I don't think we need carpenter for anything. No, we don't. Unless you want to build a ship, but we don't need any ships any, uh, any, uh, anyway. So cool, there are already two short bows, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, and some civilians are growing up. Luckily, short bows are one of the uh, one of the faster weapons uh, being made. I don't know what my tactics will be if I should actually uh, rather slowly storm them with small armies or just uh, when wait until I get a big one. Probably I would choose some uh, something between. So probably I would. Uh, I would wait actually for uh, for the time when I will have let's say around 20 soldiers and then 
always after cleaning cleaning uh, one spot I'm actually gonna uh, move them back to take meat and maybe uh, replenish some soldiers if it's gonna be needed and that will be and then like this I think it's gonna be fine anyway yeah I think I, I, we can pretty well upgrade those dwellings since then we can actually have a home for up to nine women and and that I think is gonna be quite optimal for this mission I don't think like I think there is maximum of around 15 snake people for each of those spots <laughs> so yeah Cool. I think I can have those guys as my attack crew and the rest of them, basically the soldiers, I started with it uh, rather as a defense crew. And cool, we can already modernize this. And yes, I said, luckily the bow production is going pretty quickly, there is already 9 bows. And a part of those uh, which I already had. Okay. Let's switch to much better long bows actually. I mean those long bows they are understandably slower. But when I got a lot a lot of them, they are far more effective than the short ones. Although it's actually quite good to combine them. So now I think I will have around 15 soldiers, maybe we could already try to take this northern flank, that might work, they are only uh, short bow so far, only one long bow, so let's just use those short ones and yeah actually yeah I got 14 soldiers actually let's try it probably I would I guess some of my soldiers die well that's that's life <laughs> well that uh, that's life you know typically your leader is gonna send you uh, for uh, for uh, snake people and aggressive fantasy monsters which are scary and attack everything that is inside okay okay I can see there is a little hunger in my village already which is not good so if I would employ a uh, carry here, it will be faster, but damn it. Another one good strike, who is that? Oh, Stone Mason. Stone Mason. I don't think he's gonna be that valuable, honestly. Okay, let's not care about him for now because those cursed people move pretty slowly. And what do we got here? Okay, they are coming already. Wow, okay, 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 okay. There is quite a lot of them. And they are retreating. They have a pretty strange behavior. <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm gonna win because they are actually more stupid than my soldiers. Oh yeah, they are they are leaving leather armor behind actually. 
Okay, pretty cool. Not all my soldiers died yet. Yeah, they are indeed dropping leather armor, but it shouldn't be like in those Metroidvania games where you have like a two percent chance to drop a legendary item, but they should drop an item always, I guess. Okay, where are they going? Yeah, those are few of them which I killed earlier. Okay, regroup. Okay, so seems I actually miscounted because there seems to be uh, in total more of them than 15-ish. Yeah, but luckily I am taking them by small doses. Okay, with this tactic it should work well. Cool. Okay. Okay, one more is coming, and I'm gonna take his skin and use it as a leather armor. Okay. Anyway, I don't think they should be respawning. They should be constant number of them, I think. Anyway, what is happening around here? Yeah, so as I said, I will employ this carrier here, and yeah, there are so, some homeless women, yeah, this one is still growing up, uh, and there should be one more somewhere, no, yeah, this one, this redhead. Okay, and there are some civilians already, uh, let's not mind them for this moment. This <laughs> this piece of stone, the grave of one of a once powerful king. Uh, you have paid him homage and thus appeased his restless spirit. So those are actually supposedly diseased kings of one strong nations. Wait, one. Why can't I open this chest? <laughs> Okay, some shitty amulet. Yeah, wind amulet. And actually, some potions. Oh, stamina potions. Well, apart from stamina potions, we can just have some rest, right? Yeah, I think we can try to right away attack the next flank, actually. Cool, and now my breath production seems to be quite stable. I don't know if the, this place actually counts as one of those six places, but I think not. So there should be five more places to find. And I believe logically this one should be the less guarded. So I think there are gonna be more of those snake people eventually. Yeah, yeah, here they come. Okay. Okay, you see I'm not playing any hard tactics, I left one of my switches died. I can at this point pretty easily re uh, remake those soldiers. Okay, where is that spot? Okay. <laughs> okay, who the hell dogs like that? Okay, okay so it seems this spot is, uh, is absolutely clean now. Okay. Was, was it any special message? No, the same as last one time. Wow, blade armors. Okay, they're actually gonna come in handy. Or, would you know what? I think I will actually for now return. 
with this group for now. And... And... I would like my civilians. And make more soldiers. And then when I will be attacking the next spot, I can go here and take those plate armors. Anyway, I will also take Bjarni and open... Bjarni can't open this chest. Okay, anyway, it's pretty strange. But, whatever. Yeah, children are getting born. Okay, where is... Why this curse the guy went over here? So yeah, if I remember correctly, by the way, this island actually has quite a strange shape. And we're gonna see it all once I complete this mission. We should actually not take that long from now. I think I'm gonna wait for another, another wave of civilians. So yeah, yeah, luckily I got a lot of long bows by now. Cool, I I'm gonna wait for all those kids to grow up. They are only only two to go. Only two to go. Okay, one person is hungry. That's fine, it will be that's gonna be fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, should be good now. Yeah. Now, let's employ them. I mean, uh, let's make soldiers throw them. And... And give them longbows, so they are gonna be sexy archers. Yeah, now, yeah, now there is actually 24 soldiers in this group. Which is pretty solid. So let's give them meat. And go. Okay, where those two idiots are going? Yeah, they don't have meat, of course. And let's take another one. Okay. And let's go hunting. Just in the meantime, I'm gonna have I'm gonna make more boys. So when I will be refilling my army, probably if I will, uh, I'm not gonna have to wait for an another wave. Okay, here is that stone mason guy. So yeah. Dear soldiers, please take some uh, leather armor. What again? Okay, who is who got cursed this time? Yeah, woman. See, this can also happen that the woman gets cursed. Okay, and you know what, just 
let me finish this pretty quickly. I mean, I think there is quite a high chance I could actually finish off the rest of the snake people with this army if I'm gonna be careful and efficient. And there are two remaining plate armor, so you know what fuck that. <laughs> fuck those. Snake people, where are you? Okay, there's some coats over here. Okay, I'm pretty sure they are somewhere around here. Hmm. Okay, here we got epic nothing. Yeah, I think in this southeastern spot there, there is high chance there is gonna be something. Wait, leather armor? How did it got here? <laughs> <laughs> Some snake die here just out of nothing. Okay, it's pretty strange. Okay, some woods. Oh, yeah. See, here they are. Hello, my dear friends. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, see? Got it. Cool, they must have guarded something. Oh yeah, here is a spot. Wait, was that actually everything? Well, that sucks. I mean, there was like maximum 10 of them, right? Okay, what is this? Okay, nourishing potions. Okay, yeah, let's give those to my soldiers. Simply, first come, first serve. Yes, for some soldiers, I can give them those chain mails. Chain mails. But let's not brag it at read that for long. Yeah. Two more we are gonna need. Okay, this guy doesn't have yeah, there's one more here. Okay. So good. Three spot down, three to go, and it's mm, it may be uh, a bit annoying to find the remaining ones because actually the map still seems to be quite big. Anyway, I fear I have to return because this island has some weird shape. Actually, I'm. I think I'm need to gonna return here and explore this northern flank also. But let's first explore this one. By the way, oh, sorry, animal. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to attack you. Oh yeah, here we are. Hello, friends. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, easy ones. I have a massive number of longbow archers, though snake people cannot defeat me. But 
I mean, hey, those places are actually really poorly defended. There was like, I don't know, I don't know how, how many, like, like six of them, right? Okay. So there is five plate armors I can give to my soldiers. Yeah, something else is here. Where is that? Okay, healing potions, good. Let's take some nourishing potions, actually. Yeah, guys, uh, just first time, first serve. Oh, well, there's one more chest. Where the hell is this guy going? Do you want to get killed? Okay, there is more plate armors, actually. But as I see now, it seems that, well, yeah, this one doesn't have any enhanced armor. Uh, but yeah, this one, this one neither, neither this one, and this one. Okay, now it seems, yeah, now this army is pretty promising when most of my soldiers actually have either, uh, Either plate armor on chain metals are the two best armors in the game. Cool. Let's continue. So there should be only two spots to go. Pretty solid. Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish this mission within like 10 minutes. My guess is that one spot is gonna be somewhere around here and another one somewhere at the northwestern part of the island. Maybe it's a good idea to just go by the coast because it seems that up to now all of those places were by... Oh, wow, 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 okay, okay. Okay, where are they going? I know those AIs have some kind of weird regrouping. Wait, s serpent people are dead? There was a message that serpent people are dead. Uh -huh. So, is that all after all? The grave of one's purple king, blah 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 blah, yeah. Or is there one more? Hmm. Well, we, we will see. We will see. We'll explore the rest of the island, and as I said, we will see. Uh. Yeah, there's probably nothing here. But did I actually manage to kill all those snakes or snake people? Huh. So it seems there are not many of them. Okay, what are those pieces of meat? I think maybe if there were some wolves, maybe the snake people also also could fight, fight them? Uh, or maybe it depends when. Okay, what's this? 
Okay, another curse. Okay, let, let's ignore those curses for now. Especially if truly it's over for the snake people. Yeah, there is a cursed stone mason around here actually. Ah, uh, this is gonna go take too long. So yeah, I think when I explore this last part of the island, it's gonna be pretty fine. By the way, I I like how this is cur uh, called a curse of dead people because <laughs> because I am basically sending them to death. Yeah. Maybe I can ironically uh, find the last piece of uh, last place with the cursed person. That would be funny. Or I think not because they are really indeed moving so slowly. <laughs> but is that, is that actually supposedly an illness? A coronavirus or something? <laughs> I mean yeah, typically in this age and I believe pretty much if you were a viking uh, when you got some weird illness, it's it's like that you were possessed by some evil spirit. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna kick ass to those to those evil spirits, and I will show them how evil I am. So okay. Okay, and here this last spot was actually completely unguarded. Okay, is that it? Is that it? Yes! Woo! Mission successful! You, the curse is broken. The spirits of the dead are beast. You have done what no living human ever managed before. Okay, if General Hardrady would. <laughs> Uh, would duck here, they will be doomed. Anyway, uh, the Vikings have been given permission to spend the winter here by their forefathers. A new story will be told by the campfire, the story of the Isle of the Dead. Hmm? Okay, nice. Yes, yeah, always I will explore the rest of the island. Okay, there are a lot of suppo supposedly icebergs. Hmm. Alright then. Icebergs. Mm. Okay. Yeah, as I said, this island has a pretty weird shape. <laughs> wow. How can an island form be be formed like that? Hmm. Cool. Okay, anyway, I think I can wrap this up. Yeah, it actually took me huh, a nice less than an hour. Okay. So yeah, next time we'll move to the Alexandria mission in campaign. Uh, I'm not concerned because it's not gonna be that hard as those free missions. It's like a bit harder than Normandy or Italy probably. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the, yeah, I actually recommend this. There is one more. Yeah, one more free mission, the rebellion. It's it's also pretty cool one. Ah, okay. Anyway, I'm yawning already. So anyway, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye.